hill in North Oregon. I like him. That guy I spoke with earlier, his name is Jared Scudder. He was a really nice guy. He was gonna try to help me with some sh- stuff, but due to his own health issues, which I have to understand, right? Not due to his own health issues, he's been unable to. Now there was a, a lot of situations with Molly. There was a lot of witnesses to those situations with Molly. And they never come forward about it. They that they would. But of course, instead of doing that, it's more important hunting season and all that. And I'm expected to understand. Well, as a Nebraskan, I do. But how many hunting seasons have you been allowed to pass before you try to help turn that in? If it was your family, you'd do it immediately. Now, it wasn't just the Scudders. It was also, of course, Dallas Palmer. He was witness to the situation. And about six or seven of his friends and his mom and a lot of people. And even though all these people claimed that they would come forward, well, Scott Scudder, he claimed that he spoke to the police. No proof of it. I just got to believe him. Meanwhile, he is uh, schizophrenic, which makes it very difficult to believe anything that he says. Especially since, I mean, after listening to him, I don't personally believe he's schizophrenic. I think he just likes to tell stories. I think the stories he said about talking to those police is because he wanted a friend and doesn't really have any. His friends here at Fred Myers abuse him. His co-workers know that he's allergic to strawberries and that it could kill him and they think it's fucking hilarious to try to kill him with strawberries, to try to introduce him to his allergens repeatedly. Now, Jared Scudder, of course, doesn't like this, and we've gotten to hear him on my channel talking about how he, if he finds out who's doing it, that he would hurt them very badly, or worse. Except he actually stated how he would hurt them, and what, or worse, would be. Now, of course, he's not being charged as if he's some sort of a monster, is he? He's not being charged with making terroristic threats or anything like that. Now, Kara Scudder, she was useful. She was helpful, or at least tried to be to the best of her abilities with some things other than turning in the abuse against me. The whole point was to, of course, get me a safe place. And a lot of people like to push that on me. Oh, Sean, the first thing we need to do is get you into a safe place. I fucking know. I know. that That's what I've been working on. But you guys have your own ideas about things. And, of course, no matter how much I go through this, I go through it with 400 people who all think they know better than the retard. The fact is, as long as you're treating me like a retard, it doesn't matter if you want to tell me, oh, oh, you, you autistic people are so smart. That's kind of like saying, oh, you Jews are so good with money. It's still a stereotype and it's still wrong. Or deferring to the Jesus. I'm trying to tell you about actual issues that I'm dealing with. Because of people's assumption of autism, and you literally are showing me you have literally those same assumptions. While you're talking to me like I'm too retarded to know the difference, and you say, oh, well, autistic people don't know how to read between the lines. No, we do. We just understand that you guys are idiots for even putting a line there to try to read between. How about say it as it is? Why should I have to read between the lines? Why is that necessary? Because you guys, neurotypicals, are chronic liars. You say one thing and do another. You want us to believe your words, and you want us to pretend that your actions didn't happen. You want us, when you make a promise to us, 
You want to say, oh, well, Sean, I didn't promise anything. And then you, of course, I dig through my evidence and I send you the evidence that you literally use the words, I promise. And then you throw a tantrum and block me. You tell me I shouldn't care what other people think. You pretend like I shouldn't have any emotions about it. And you have a lot of hatred because I told the truth. Hatred towards me. You tell me I'm allowed to have feelings, but when you do something hurtful to me, I'm not allowed to tell you that it's hurtful. Or I'm a horrible monster. You assuming the worst does hurt. When you are literally allowing people to get away with murder because you feel insulted because somebody told the truth, you are really and truly a first-class piece of shit. When you say you understand autism and the only thing that you understand about autism is how to talk over a retard, you haven't learned anything about autism. You've learned about manipulation and how to manipulate a situation with an autistic person. That's fucking ludicrous. Just saying. And of course, my hair ain't perfect, right? I need to get a haircut. Well, I got some trimmers in here. As soon as I dig them out, as long as the batteries are mostly dry, they might work and I might be able to trim my hair. And since I bought that and paid for it, of course, I'm able to do something with it. But the problem is when you guys have so many ideas that you want me to do, and I'm spending all of my money and all of my time jumping through these hoops. And like, for example, people want to tell me to go places. Like, of course, when I come here to Fred Myers, I'm a customer. I make sure I'm a customer. And of course, I don't come here just to hang out. When I come here and I pay for a coffee, I've paid for a coffee. When those other gentlemen come in and pay for a coffee, it's not an issue with them hanging out all day. And, of course, there might be three or four of them, and two of them don't even buy a coffee. But I'm the one who's targeted. Meanwhile, there's also lots of people who go in there, and what do they do? Well, they go in and they sit down with their computers and they work on the stuff that they need to work on. Some of them are lawyers. Some of them are other homeless people. Lots of different things. But are they bothered as if all they're doing is hanging out, which is literally what they're doing. They're just hanging out being racists. Well, I don't see that helpful to anybody. I don't see how that's useful to anybody. I don't see how harassing the guy who literally just bought a coffee 20 minutes ago and telling them they can't be hanging out. Well, I just bought a coffee. Two guys sat next to me all day, didn't buy a coffee all day long, and I'm the one that got talked to. You want to tell me that doesn't show bias? Meanwhile, I was told by the folks here at the Fred Myers Starbucks that they have to follow the Starbucks corporate policy, the safe place policy, but Fred Myers doesn't. So anywhere else in the store is not Starbucks rules or Starbucks policy, but they're supposed to follow it at least inside of the Starbucks or Starbucks won't allow them the franchise. So literally over those guys coming in and harassing me for being a customer in Starbucks where their safe place policy guarantees me a safe place. I don't even have to buy a coffee. I don't have to buy a coffee. If I am at risk, I can go into any Starbucks in the United States according to their corporate policy. For my safety, I may. But when somebody is insulted and wants to play like, what, I might victimize them because I exist? I bought a coffee, so I'm, what, a scary person because I bought a coffee? Oh, maybe my mannerisms are different. No. 
that doesn't make it okay. My mannerisms are specifically because of my disabilities. If you've got a problem with my mannerisms, you are, of course, violating my rights as a disabled person. What you're doing is illegal as fuck and could cost you a lot of money. Now that lady, Candace Edwards, she recorded it, what was it, three or four days ago when he come in and wanted to harass me for hanging out there for being a customer. No, all that shit started over Molly. And the Scudder family heavily involved in the situation with Molly. Jared Scudder works here. Scott Scudder works here. Scott Scudder is the one who's schizophrenic. He's the one that likes to tell stories and tall tales. Like many people, he claimed that he talked to the police on his own. No proof, no evidence. Just false claims. I say false claims because there's no proof of it. And like with everyone else, I just have to believe him. Well, if I just have to believe you and I try to take it to court and you're forcing me to take it to court alone, you're forcing me to make the calls alone, you're forcing me to do the paperwork alone, and I am blown off because I have to do it alone, you're the problem. You're the reason the predator got away. You are literally a witness to the situation and helped the predator to get away. Do I hate Scott Scudder? Fuck no. I have to understand his disabilities. Whether or not he cares to understand mine or not makes no difference. None. Now for me, of course, coming here, I buy things. There's a lot of places where people told me I couldn't be there because they were insulted because I existed in that area. But what crime did I fucking commit beyond being fucking homeless, beyond being fucking broke? Even if I spend the money, I'm some sort of a fucking criminal for existing. I'm just hanging out all day, apparently. The same shit I had to deal with at the fucking library. Well, not entirely, depends on which library and how many times I had to go back there, how many calls I had to make while I was in the library, how many times I had to abandon my stuff in the library to make these calls, because they're professional calls, and if I don't answer it immediately, <coughs> they're never gonna call back. They're gonna go, oh, we called. When? You called from a restricted fucking number. There's a lot of witnesses that I would have been able to drag into court if I'd have had an actual way to contact the actual human being. What showed that they were playing head games and that they were fucking around was the fact that they knew which information they could keep out to prevent them from being contacted or arrested for the crimes that they fucking committed. All they did was threaten, harass, and assault me over and over and over again until I had a severe reaction to it. And then, of course, I'm an evil person because I spoke up and literally had to scream at the top of my lungs because not one of my friends or family member gave a fuck. To this day, it's I take their fucking abuse or I'm a bad person. No, fuck you. I'll dish it back and I'll do it loud and proud on my fucking YouTube channel for God and everybody to hear. If I'm going to call you a piece of shit, I am going to do it proudly. Now, of course, I've been talking for a few minutes here. And that might bother some of you. Some of you might go, oh, well, you should have left the parking lot already if those people are being like that. You shouldn't even go back. I got nowhere else to go, first of all. Second of all, I'm looking for my key because I don't want to be here. I don't want to deal with any assholes who don't fucking like me. I don't want to hang out with people who are going to victimize me just because I fucking exist. I don't want to be around people who are going to treat me like shit just because I'm not the way they want me to look. Just because I don't have the things they expect me to have. 
it's easier for me to leave the situation in most situations. But leave for how long and how far? How far do I have to travel to get away from predators? How far do I have to travel to get away from people who are going to choose someone who is alone to victimize? Wouldn't it be nice if I could walk down the street by myself and not have to look over my shoulder everywhere I go for a police officer looking for someone to hurt? You know how much it sucks that even going to a library can result in me being arrested just because I exist at the library? Or that if I went to the library, especially right after Natalie was killed, people were like, go to the Boulder Public Library. I went to the Boulder Public Library. People were coming into the library, seeing me and threatening to kill me in the fucking library. And people kept on saying, go to the library, go to the library. What the fuck? When I explained that going to the library resulted in people threatening to kill me, well, why didn't you turn it in? I need someone to be there with me to turn it in. If there's nobody there with me, I will be blown off. I'm a fucking hobo. If I say that a thousand more times, you're literally going to ignore it every time. I'm a hobo. I have zero fucking rights because America hates hobos. The news media tells you to hate hobos. The police tell you to hate hobos. They claim all hobos are mentally ill. And then you blame every mass shooter It's because he's mentally ill. Or she is mentally ill. Why is it that the police... 96% of those killed by police are men. Because they know that people will actually give a shit if they kill a woman. Do you stop to consider the, the majority of those killed by police are homeless? The majority of black people killed by police are homeless black people? The majority of white people killed by police are homeless white people. And being mentally ill is a valid excuse for them to literally beat you to death. Take a look at the situation with Thomas Kelly. Literally beaten to death. Was there any hobo riots? Did the homeless people riot and destroy a bunch of homeless encampments? like black people did to black neighborhoods after Rodney King? Well, you say it's okay for black people to do this because they're oppressed, they're oppressed, they're oppressed. They're not the only ones fucking oppressed. There are a lot of people in this country far more oppressed than black people. A black male, apparently, if you really doctor the statistics, has a 1 in 200,000 chance, sorry, a 1 in 2,000 chance, if you really, really, really try to doctor the numbers, a black man has a 1 in 2,000 chance in his lifetime of being killed by a police officer. As a homeless male, you have a 1 in 500 chance of being murdered by a police officer every single year. Not in your lifetime, but this year. As a homeless person, you have a 1 in 1,000 chance of being killed by a police officer this year. Now, we are assuming in this situation, aren't we? We're assuming that the police are killing as many women as men, aren't we? As a homeless person, you have a one in a thousand chance of being killed by a police officer every year. But half of those are women, right? No, not quite. Women are far less likely to end up homeless. They're far more likely to be able to use their genitalia to prevent homelessness. They are far more likely to think of that as something that is an acceptable thing to do. 
than a male is, males are far less likely to become prostitutes to put a roof over their head. That doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. Shit. All right, so there's a... Uh, My little plug-in thing. It allows me to plug in my electronics, my car. I've got about a quarter of a tank of gas left, which ain't much. And I have to use my car to charge up my electronics. Now, I do know that somebody did go through my car a little bit earlier. I only know that because uh, the fact that they moved some of the stuff over here, and I don't know what they were written in my car for. I don't care. The fact that it happened here at the Fred Myers means that it's probably not worth it to try to turn it in. I'm a male, and I'm homeless, and I've been harassed for existing here. So for me to be here is an uncomfortable situation now. Now, they've done that several times. Mitchell Burkan, Deidre, Pastor Craig, Capri Motel. Lots of resources people turn me on to. Go here, go there. Did you try the churches? Did you try the churches? Did you try the churches? Yes. Yes, 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 and yes. Also, yes and yes. Oh, by the way, yes, yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I went to the churches. Yes, I went to the churches on multiple occasions. Yes, when I was threatened and had my life threatened at the church, I did go to the church staff to let them know that I was threatened. Yes, I absolutely fucking did that. When you want to stop and ask me after I've told you that I did that, and you want to stop and ask me if I did that, I already told you that I did that. If I tell you ten more times that I did that, are you going to believe me? No? Well, that's why I sent you the fucking evidence. Are you going to look at that? No? All you want to do is argue like I'm a fucking retard? Well, that is not useful or helpful to fucking anyone. When you treat an at-risk adult like they're a fucking retard, like they don't know what the fuck they're talking about because they're a retard, that's on you. When you assume somebody is mentally retarded, that is definitely not the same thing as a person being mentally retarded. When you want to repeatedly talk over someone when they're telling you about the effects of autism and how people treat us because we're different and that trauma responses are used as excuses to harm us over and over again by law enforcement who intentionally initiates trauma responses, just like our own families do. You guys do this to your own families. My older brother knew I had Tourette syndrome. He knew that if he made a sound that I made, Mm. Fuck it. We'll just hope it's working. Anyway, with the Scudder family, even knowing I was being abused and that I'm an at-risk adult and understanding helps, the fact is that the Scudder family is a bunch of lazy shits. All of them? No, Jared works hard. Jared goes to work every day. Why do I say they're a bunch of lazy shits, though? Because all they did was fuck around in a parking lot. Kara Scudder does every fucking family. Kara Scudder has to take care of all of those fucking whiny little man-children. Do you like that? Do you like that? These men have a woman doing all of that work because she's the only one mentally capable of doing so. That doesn't make all of these men bad. They're not unmanly because they need help from a woman. Matter of fact, they better goddamn well be thankful that they have a fucking person in their goddamn family who actually gives a shit. Especially when she's literally being the one who has to wipe to wipe her husband's ass. She has to wipe Scott's ass. She's got to wipe your grandkids' asses. What she tried to do is at least useful. But her 
husband is too disabled to take care of himself, he's not too disabled to go out with a gun and fucking go shooting and stuff. He's not that disabled. Yeah, his back is fucked up, but he can shoot a, fire, a high-powered rifle. If your back is so fucked up that you can still fire a high-powered rifle, your back's not fucked up. You're riding it. Do you like being told that? Do you like being treated that way? For all I know, he does have severe back injuries. For all I know, the reason that he never took the shot on the deer that he had a fucking bead on and he was letting other people shoot first is because he was afraid if he pulled the trigger, he was going to injure himself. There's that possibility. <laughs> but I don't know that. I don't know for certain that anything that he's told me is the truth. Just like many of these other people who make, what the hell was that? Did somebody throw something in my fucking car or did I leave something on top? Whatever the fuck it was, I don't see it. If it is something that fell off my car or somebody threw at me, it's, it didn't break me, it didn't kill me, it's basically alright. Now the Scudder family is After calling them lazy, is it okay for me to explain all of the exceptions? Of course it is. I don't actually believe that Kara Scudder is fucking lazy. I do believe that Scott Scudder is allergic to strawberries. I do believe that his diagnosis is correct. I don't believe for a moment that he's schizophrenic because I don't believe he actually believes the bullshit coming out of his mouth. I think he says it because he wants a friend. He's alone and lonely and doesn't necessarily connect with his family. He doesn't have the same religion they do and they want to push religion at him. That's a lot of people's cure for every goddamn thing. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Muhammad's name, Allah, 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 Ali. Praise the Jeebus B. It's all about the Buddha, ain't it? How about Confucius? Yes, there's religions based on these men, but that's not what they taught. Did these men teach religion? No. No, they didn't. They taught philosophy. And because of personal experiences, their philosophy actually meant something. Alright, apparently I have to go park because I don't know where I put my money. And I know I have enough for a coffee. I'm over at the McDonald's parking lot. Now, Kara Scudder did attempt to go with me, but we didn't go to where I needed to go. And she wasn't able to explain any of the things that needed to be explained. That's the problem with being an... Somebody else needs to say, hey, he is being abused. It did fucking happen. If Scott Scudder, being schizophrenic, his mommy there to wipe his ass when he gets fucked over, a lot more people would victimize the shit out of him. If his brother was not such a big feller, and yes, he's a big fucking teddy bear. But if he wasn't such a big feller, there's a lot of people who would hurt Scott Scudder, his brother, a lot more. Now, in between when uh, this video paused and when it started back up again, I did audio recording device and I did turn it on able to clear out the stuff that was on it so that I've got more room and more space. But because of the safety issues of being there at the Fred Meyer Starbucks and me not wanting to be threatened or intimidated, especially by them and especially by the police, I'm trying to just go there when I need to buy something or when I fucking need to check something on the ATM machine.
The scudders should have helped me turn in the situation with Molly. Excuses that he thought somebody else was going to help me turn it in. Dr. Palmer's excuse was he thought somebody else was going to help me turn it in. Everybody's excuse is they thought somebody else was going to do it. Fucking useless. When it's a male, this is seriously the way you fucking treat them. Over a dozen goddamn witnesses in the parking lot. Why was I pissed off that? for exactly that? They let it happen. And because they didn't come forward, Molly was allowed to do these things over and over and over again. The harm that she was allowed to bring to me. There was no judge, no jury, no nothing. Just the passing of the judgment. Molly tried to break into the Fred Myers and play victim. And I am the one who got punished. No judge, no jury. Just the execution. Dozens of people could have spoken up over the course of this, but they didn't. They just let, let it happen. Molly did it not just to me and not just to Tom, but to other people. And she continued and continued and continued. Now, obviously, she's recorded on my channel trying to victimize me. She's also on my channel pretending to be sweet and innocent. So, obviously, it's not a mental illness that she has. It's a manipulation. Anyway, good to be rid of you. Thanks for coming to visit. Stay out of trouble or don't get caught. Remember, you are your brother's keeper and no victim left behind. Unless it's the Scudders or Mr. Palmer. If they're willing to look away from you, why wouldn't you look away from them? Well, because unlike those stupid son of a bitches, I actually care about their safety and well-being.